What a difference a little experience will make. Much cleaner. Nice fit right off the bat. That, that took probably half the time the other one did. So I'll get these lined up, make my marks, and do the other side here. Okay, we're tight to the corner. I'm, I'm right on my line, or just a hair over. I think this time, instead of using my pencil, I'm going to use my knife here. All right, this one is a great fit. Uh, and the other thing I did was when I made these uh, this half lap on this one, I cut uh, square lines. I should have done that on all of them. And it's there's no tear out at all on that side. So let's see how it fits this way. straight as can be nice and nice and true good fit all the way around so that's going to be enough for me today I'm going to take the rest of the Sunday afternoon off you can see on this one here I do have my my line right here that's my cut line so now that I know that they sit flush uh, I'll be able to make those cuts and uh, be pretty much guaranteed I shouldn't say guaranteed but I'll be pretty much in line here that corner and this one will be perpendicular to the floor and then that measurement across the top should match the measurement on the bottom this one from here to that corner so I'm very pleased with the way this one this one looks great and if I was doing a bunch of these I would probably make a uh, jig but just doing these two that quick and dirty method worked out pretty well all right these turned out really well really nice uh, nice and uh, symmetrical the uh, this one here is that maybe uh, 32nd of an inch difference uh, what I found was uh, you can reverse these uh, if you take the one piece and flip it and you'll end up where they'll be uh, way out of whack so I, I like the way they turned out uh, they're they're going to be terrific and they do both of them do sit nice and flat on my workbench here what I am going to do is mark the tops here with a T in permanent marker I know I have A's and B's and uh, I'm just going to get ready to glue these up and then go to work on the top so uh, I want to make sure they go back together in this orientation and in this case I'm using uh, type bond 3 and because it is going to be outside um, I think type bond 2 would probably be good enough for the environment that my daughter lives in it's uh, Indianapolis this is going to be under a covered deck uh, it is going to be open I don't know how wet it's going to get but at any rate, I'm going to err on the uh, side of being waterproof and not just water resistant. So let me get these glued up. I'll go to work on the top, uh, planing and uh, jointing and slabbing that together. And then when I come back, 
that should be done and we'll show you my method for connecting this all together. All right, I'm taking this video just to prove to myself that my camera still works. My tripod and camera took a trip to the floor. And it looks like I'm okay. Tripod's broke. <laughs> At any rate, I got the top glued up, but I kind of stumbled over the cord when I was going to do this glue up. And uh, down she went. So I ended up with a. I'm going to clean that off. I ended up with about a 30, just a hair over a 35 inch top here. I was shooting for 36, but that's fine. This would be, this is plenty wide for a, for a picnic table. Um, so I've seen some of them as narrow as 24. So uh, I'm going to go with this. It's uh, glued up nicely. You can see over here I had to do some hand planing. I, there was just no other way around it. I tried on my table saw, I tried on the joiner to get these edges straight. Uh, I, these, these two outside edges worked out pretty well. But when I came to put the two big boards together with the middle board, I had all kinds of issues. But that hand planing took care of it. At any rate, I've got a nice uh, flush end on both ends now. I know that this top, this is the bottom. I've got a little cupping going on, about a sixteenth of an inch. So I don't think that that'll be too hard to, you know, um, make that behave and flatten it out. I'm not going to really worry about that. If it doesn't, it should be fine. But I'm going to take my extra piece that I have over here and um, cut pieces about 33 inches. And this ended up being 35, so I'm going to make them about 33. make two right angle pieces. And depending on whether to go this way uh, or this way. And I think I'm going to do it like this. Um, one thing I do need to do before I lock these together is drill three holes. Actually one hole and two slots. And then well, first of all, let me back up. I mean, I'm going to drill three holes. Use this as a template on the other side here to mark my hole locations for T-nuts that I'm going to put in the top and uh, countersink them and plug them. So um, I think I have some 5 16 T-nuts. So I'm going to come in here with three holes so that I land in the center of this board. Uh, center out here. So about two and a half to three inches in. Probably two and a half because I'm giving away an inch right here. I'm going to cut these to match the angle of the legs. So uh, that won't affect this part here. Two there, one dead center, and this one will locate the, uh, the piece. And then the slots I'll make um, Probably just one inch slots out here so that the top can move and uh, so will the bolt the bolt will slide with the movement of the top. Okay this piece will sit on the bottom and I'm just marking the hole locations here.
I'll do the same thing on the other end. Uh, I've got it located uh, 12 inches. This will be 12 inches. So someone sitting on the end of the table will have this basically sp splitting their legs so they don't have to uh, worry about bumping their knees. Alright, so... three-eighths T-nuts so I need to countersink one inch and then uh, or countersink with a one inch bit probably about a quarter of an inch and then <clears throat> and then uh, put this in and, and make a plug Follow the knot. I got a bit of an oval hole here. Which means it's going to be slightly off center. Well, we'll have to deal with it. I've got a piece of plywood strapped underneath here to uh, minimize blowout. Hopefully this will go... Nope. Damn it. Through. Question is, is it going to be straight? This hole is pretty messed up. It does appear as though this is going to drop in. I made my three uh, little holes uh, to accept the to accept the tangs, and uh, I'm going to try and pull that in there. And I think it should be okay. The problem is going to be when I plug it, I'm going to have this part here I'm going to have to fill. But I'll have to deal with that when I get to it. Well, the first two went good. Uh, this one's going as well. The I'll show you that first one. So it's it's um, nice and true and flat. I think it shifted a little this way. That's okay because I'm going to have a little a slot there. Uh, I hope that it's and it is fairly in line here. Let's check that. See how it is uh, on center. Yeah, that part looks to be pretty true as well. So, I'm going to plug these three uh, right now and then 
We'll see how this turns out. Spin it and I'll do the same operation on the other end.